In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the new animals that have arrived at various UK zoos. Coming up, we have baby tiger cubs, new lion prides, and one giant family of giant otters. I plan to make this a seasonal update series to bring you any news on births, transfers, or anything new happening in UK zoos. If your local zoo isn't mentioned today, let me know in the comments and I can include it in the next update video. First up, the first baby elephant to be born at West Midland Safari Park, a male called Sutton, has been transferred transferred to Noah's Ark Zoo Farm near Bristol. He has recently turned nine and has gone to learn social skills and behaviours from the other two males there. Noah's Ark also welcomed an anteater and have become a charity after 25 years. Some sad news, their male African lion, Maasai, had to be put down due to ill health at the age of 14. Sticking with farms, two eastern bongos have gone to Folly Farm from Howlett's to join their existing bongo there and create a herd of three females. At Cotswold Wildlife Park, two Binturong have been born. At London Zoo, a trio of white-faced Saki monkeys has arrived from their sister site, Whipsnade Zoo, and a critically endangered Rupel's vulture chick has been born. These are the world's highest flying bird and can reach similar heights to aeroplanes. At Dudley Zoo, a male red panda has arrived from Sweden to join their existing female in their newly renovated home. They have also had a two-toed sloth birth, a pygmy marmoset from Banham Zoo, and three new Humboldt penguins from the Isle of Man to try and help rebuild their colony after they lost nearly all their penguins to avian malaria at the start of 2022. They used to have one of the largest self-sustaining groups in the country with around 70 penguins, but that got reduced down to only five survivors, which I now realise is why it felt so empty there. They've also had to put down their Asiatic lion Kyra due to declining health at the age of 17. A penguin colony that didn't feel so empty at Twycross has welcomed 10 new chicks to bring their total up to 34. At Banham Zoo, a maned wolf has arrived from Berlin and two cotton top tamarins have arrived from Welsh Mountain Zoo and a zoo in France. These are one of the most endangered primates in the world with only around 2,000 left in the wild. Then there's bad news, good news, bad news, and then good news. At the start of March, they had to put down their male ammo tiger, Kuzma, due to heart failure at the age of 14. But then at the start of May, his trio of tiger cubs were born, leaving a legacy for their dad and giving a boost to the endangered species population. Sadly, one of the cubs didn't make it and died around a week later, but the remaining two seem to be doing well and growing in strength and confidence. You'll be able to see all of these on their brand new Tiger walkthrough opening soon. If you're liking the updates so far, it would help me out a lot if you could drop the video a like so it could be put on more homepages. Sulawesi Crested Macaque was born at Chester Zoo, which is a critically endangered primate with only around 5,000 left in the wild. They've also had a giant anti birth and have announced the building of a new Himalayan themed area to house two new snow leopards coming next year. At Marwell Zoo they are also planning to have more snow leopards by expanding their enclosure. They've had two new southern caracaras arrive and a triplet of cotton top tamarins were born which are the same species that went to Banham Zoo with only around 2,000 left in the wild. There was also the birth of a rare Perzewalski's horse in April. A further two Perzewalski's horses were born at Whipsnade Zoo along with 13 pair David deer which are both species that hit near extinction and have managed to claw their way back. They've also welcomed two new African lionesses from Antwerp who will soon be joined by a male to create a new pride which will hopefully help boost the population of the endangered species. Another zoo to have new lions is Paynton Zoo who have welcomed three new African lions from Nuki Zoo to provide them with more room in the enclosure that used to house an Asiatic lion which was transferred to Ireland last year. They've also announced the death of a red-fronted lemur who was thought to be the oldest lemur in Europe at the age of 26. Sticking with lions, Kari the African lion has returned to Blackpool Zoo from Whipsnade, where he was being housed whilst they built their new 1.5 million pound big cat facility, designed around the specific needs of each species. He's been joined by three lionesses from West Midland Safari Park to form a new pride. The other big cat to return to the facility is Aliona the Amo Tiger from Woodside Wildlife Park, and they're currently looking for a companion to join her. Their penguins are also back in show in their newly renovated penguin cove. At Edinburgh Zoo, four Gen 2 penguins have hatched and they're still hoping for more. A baby Lahoist monkey was born, also twin armadillos, and a Kirk's Dick Dick, which is one of the smallest antelopes in the world. Colchester also had the birth of a Dick Dick, along with the birth of twin warthogs. They've also had the arrival of two new animals, a female pileated gibbon from Zurich to join their male, and a female cheetah that's come from Vienna Zoo in Austria, 
which was 11 months in the making. They plan to start introducing her to their two male cheetahs very soon. There's a new Amazonas walkthrough at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, featuring several species from South America, including the newly arrived critically endangered golden lion tamarins and silvery marmosets. They've also had the birth of twin cotton top tamarins and a red howler monkey, which is part of the only group you can see in the UK. Finally, a triplet of giant otters has been born, bringing their total up to nine, the most in any single zoo or wildlife park globally. Giant otters don't always breed easily so these births are very valuable for the species that only has around 5,000 left in the wild. That concludes all the updates for this video. Let me know anything I've missed and any zoos you'd like me to include in the summer update. Consider subscribing for more animal and zoo related content and if you want to know the unlikely story of the Pear David Deer survival, click the video on the right.